couple of years ago, a competition got underway to create a car that could travel 100 miles or more on a single gallon of fuel. And this morning, we are revealing the winners of the Progressive Automotive X Prize contest. Phil LeBeau covers the automotive industry for CNBC and us here at NBC. Hey, hey Phil, man. good morning. 100 miles on a single gallon of fuel, how big an achievement is that? Huge. Consider that the White House is pushing for us to get 35 miles per gallon on average by what, 2015, so three times greater already. Is there a catch here? The cars we're going to see, do they travel 100 miles on a single gallon of fuel because you have to be 30 pounds or lighter to drive? Well, they're, or they're either they light, an hour? they're light or electric. Let me show you. This All is right. the first one. What's this? This is, this is very, very light very light car by by Edison 2 yeah, it looks kind of futuristic on the inside right made by uh, with all aluminum look at this I'm pushing this with my finger I mean, you can't push a car with so your it's, fingers. So that's why it goes yeah, so far. It's about 850 it's pounds. I don't love the, type, the name. The very like that. Mustang. That rolls off your tongue. <laughs> this right, is, what's this one? The Wave 2, and this is by Lion Motors. This is electric. What is that? Runs on what? That runs on E85 ethanol. Okay, this and runs? This is electric. Gets 171 miles equivalent per gallon. There's actually space in the back. This yeah, is actually a trunk. Yeah, they plan on selling this starting next year for $39,000. Yeah, we want to mention these cars, one of the criteria, had, they had to be production cars. They have to actually Correct. be able to make these things. Absolutely. And Lion is out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Next year is when they say they're going to put this thing for sale. Two passenger? Two passenger. Top speed? Uh, I don't know the exact top speed, but I think what you're looking at here is it's going to, it's going to take care of you on the road. Highway drivable? Highway drivable, definitely. Okay. Now this, you want top speed up to 200 miles or 200 uh, on the highway. This, this is, thing this is, this is more of a motorcycle it than a car, It is a motorcycle. It? It's the E-Tracer. I mean, look at this thing. Now, this is electric, and it gets the equivalent of 197 miles per gallon. The equivalent of that because it's electric. So what you're looking at here is some technology that in the future, and there are some of these already on the road in Europe, right. in the future, look at what's possible. Well, can, can I just ask you, I mean, because they have to make these cars so light or these motorcycles so light, light what's the safety element here? Well, they've got to be crash worthy. I mean, and this has all of the safety features in here that makes it crash worthy if you're on the roads in Europe. Now, would it pass the same standards here in the U.S.? You've got to go through a lot of testing for that. Right. And these, the guys who win this... $10 million prize? Is two and a half right? million, two and a half million, and five million. And, and these are the gentlemen who are splitting that money yeah. down. Real, real quickly, I want to mention these people. These are the team leaders Oliver Kutner, Ron Servin, and Roger Reedner. Guys, congratulations. That really is. This is fantastic yeah. stuff. And you honestly think Thank you, you said this one's already on the road next year. This next one's year. being seen in Europe. This and we can be doing more of this in the near future. The technology here is slowly getting incorporated into our cars every day. And I like what you said because if, if these guys can accomplish 100 gallons or more, then why can't this goal of 35 miles per gallon be achieved Absolutely. in the near future? Absolutely. Phil LeBeau with some cool cars and motorcycles. Thank you very much. <laughs>